Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Leos, where we take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they might be viewing you, anything they might want to tell you, any possible action. And we're all, we are also going to take a look at the lessons that may have need or needed to be learned from this connection. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am open for private reading. So if you're interested, just just click on the links down below in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for your highest and greatest good. Okay, so we've got the sun, Leo energy, beautiful. Okay, this is your person's energy. So maybe you're dealing with another Leo. They're viewing you as the five of wands, so they might see you as a little bit conflicted here, Leo, and their possible future action. You're going to get a love offer here, maybe an apology for some of you, but what I'm seeing here is that you make this person very happy. For some of you, the sun card, this is growth and expansion. It could be somebody new coming into your life that you haven't spoken to yet. Um, or a secret admirer, or someone here who's realizing they just don't want to miss out on something so good. And we have the death card, Scorpio energy. So some of you, this might be like a friend or a coworker, somebody that really wants to transform this connection with you, like they want to get out of the friend zone. And then of course, for some of you, there has been some sort of ending here. Okay, so let's see, why do we have uh, your person in this Leo energy, in the sun energy? I also hear they want to make an offer before it's too late because with the five of wands, they feel like you might have a lot of offers. <laughs> you might have a lot of offers on the table or they're worried that you're going to be, you know, swept away. Queen of cups. So this could be a Cancer Leo cusp person. They could have strong water in their chart. This is somebody who's very creative, very loving, very protective. Okay. Maybe even a little bit jealous here, Leo. And we get the nine of pentacles. This is somebody who's single and they have a lot to offer and you're the one they want to offer it to. Wow. All right. Some of you, it's a new person. For others of you, it is somebody that you, you know, that is single that you're no longer with. Let's see. The five of wands. They're viewing you as the 10 of cups, Leo. They're viewing you as their person, as their happiness, marriage, commitment, having a family, building a legacy here together. And we see the moon card energy in reverse. Um, yeah, this person sees you very clearly as the one that they want. That's what I'm getting. Moon card, really strong Cancer Pisces energy. Again, you might have Cancer Pisces in your chart. This person might also know that you have a lot of options or you have some big decisions to make. So I do feel they're a little bit insecure about, you know, whether or not you're going to say yes, or you're going to take them up on their offer or receive their apology with the moon in reverse though. You know, yeah, they know that like you... you they know that you're going to be a little bit conflicted here. I also feel this person's really waiting to see you. So again, maybe it's a coworker and they've made up their mind. They're going to tell you how they feel. With the Ace of Cups here, Leo, this is a love offer. This is their future action. The Two of Cups. Yep, they've made a decision. They want this new beginning with you and the star card coming through. The Leo Aquarius axis is coming through. So someone could have a north node in one of those signs. But I actually see this really may be your destiny here, Leo, or at least they're feeling that way. I'm also seeing that you are the apple of this person's eye. They only have eyes for you. They may have been playing the long game. Some of you, they might even be breaking up with someone to come towards you, or maybe they've recently left someone or some sort of contract. The Knight of Pentacles, you have somebody solid, stable, and secure that's willing to do the work, to put in the work, to get on the same page with you here, Leo. These messages are beautiful. Okay, so look at this. We've got endings bring new beginnings. For some of you, your person has ended something to come towards you. For others of you, this is just the ending that you've had with this person. But they, yeah, they're, they're, they want this new beginning with you and they've been doing the work ascending, so transcending obstacles. So whatever obstacles that are in between you and them, they are working on getting rid of those. Um, they're getting ready for a new phase. They're preparing for union for some of you. I mean, that's a really big pentacle. This knight has some of you, they might be giving you a ring or some sort of big gift here. So it could be a proposal of some kind messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. 
heartbroken. So some of you, you have been, you've been heartbroken here or you're sad, you're grieving. You're grieving something. Maybe if you've had an ending with this person or maybe they, they were waiting for you to, you know, resolve this conflict. It could be with somebody else. And you've got a twin flame here. I'm not surprised. I'm absolutely not surprised that this could be a twin flame or this is your twin flame here. They have been hiding their, their true feelings. Leo, they want you and they want only you. All right. Wow. All right. So let's see. These are very powerful messages I can say. I mean, I'm early into this series, Leo, but this is the best reading so far. Oh, okay. So I think that's too many. What are the messages? What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned in this connection? Or what do my Leos need to be aware of here, please? All right, we see partnering. I'm sorry, parenting. <laughs> Dyslexic much? All right. Look at what is working and what needs to be modified. Are you on the same page? Yeah, okay. So this could be really also about parenting yourself here, Leo. For some of you, there's conflict that you're experiencing, possibly with another connection. This might be somebody around you, like a friend or a coworker or a secret admirer in some capacity that's waiting for you to like leave a connection so that they can, they can have a chance. And for others of you, it's with this person looking at what needs to be modified and making sure that, you know, you are on the same page. I do feel this person's going to do everything in their power to get on the same page with you here. And we see trauma. Okay. So honor your need for recovery from what you have experienced, Leo. Help is there if you reach out. Okay, so whatever this conflict is, it may, it may be trauma. It could be with it could be drama or trauma from family. Okay. So, you know, maybe you're still heartbroken over a situation that didn't work out. It may not be with this person, or maybe it is. Again, you know your story better than I do. And uh, maturity and wisdom. Look at this situation as an opportunity for growth. Okay. Yeah. So I do feel this person's going to come in with a mature and a wise and wise approach. I also feel spirit saying, make sure that you take a mature and wise approach and see it as an opportunity for growth, whatever you may decide here and allow yourself to receive Leo. Let others do nice things for you. This may be their way of showing appreciation. Okay. Nice. What does this person want my Leos to know? What do they want to say to you at the ego level? What do they want to say to you at the ego level? What do they want to say to my Leos at the ego level? I can't do this. Okay, so they definitely get cold feet sometimes and I will wait for a sign from you. So for some of you, they have just been waiting to make sure that you're single or they they're yeah they've been waiting to they've been building up their strength and their courage which which certainly i don't know why i'm slurring here my goodness i think i'm just like feeling the energy this like anxiety and this momentum that this person is bringing to this connection but um i feel they're building up that strength and this courage to come towards you and maybe they're just waiting to see if like if you've resolved things on your end with somebody else or just building up that strength and courage to come in and offer you this offer you this apology. For some of you, it's a proposal. Okay, like they're going to be coming in big. Okay, and we do see I am recovering at the bottom of the deck there. All right, so this person might be recovering from something. I actually feel more so they're kind of waiting for you to recover from something here, Leo. All right, let's see at the soul level, their higher self or their future self. What does this person's higher self or future self want my Leos to know? What does this person's higher self or future self want my Leos to know? You have me, mind, body, and soul. Dedication. Okay. And purpose. I know you are in my life for a reason. There is something significant we are meant to show each other. So I do feel this person feels you are their destiny. And we see family obligations. My commitment to my family takes precedence right now. So maybe if you're in separation from this person, it may have been other responsibilities that got in the way here. Some of my Leos, I do see you might be experiencing family troubles or uh, family or difficulties with a family member that might be causing you a lot of stress and conflict. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else my Leos need to be aware of here? Anything else my Leos need to be aware of here, please? 
recharge, retreat now for important self-care. Okay, coming through really strong, very important that you do what's right for you. You focus on healing. You focus on resolving this conflict, whatever it is, especially if it's outside of this connection and divine masculine. So a lot of you, this is your divine counterpart coming through, especially with the sun card. We do see the sun and the moon showing up so strong. Again, twin flame, divine counterpart situation. And we see spiritual miss mission. This connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. So a lot of my Leos, this is a twin flame situation where you're in separation and either you're gonna find out exactly who this is pretty soon or you already know who it is and they certainly are coming around, okay? So let's see what final messages, advice, and guidance we have for my Leos. Look inside yourself. So there is this need to examine what's causing you to feel the way that you are, a need for you to recharge, a need for you to look at what's working and what needs to be modified in your own life and or within this connection. And we see only time will tell. So the timing here for my Leos is going to be different for all of you. But I certainly do feel this person is coming in. They're coming in with this love offer. They're just working on that strength and courage to lay it all out on the table here for you, Leo. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Leos. Take care.